Well, I just want to talk about keeping a good circle of uh, good brothers in your, mm. in your in your circles and keeping people who are doers instead of talkers and getting away from those those grifters and people waste your time. You know, I had experience this week of meeting the right person but getting tied up with a grifter and it ruining a deal mm. and messing messing a deal up. And just like you say, stop being a nice guy and in the boardroom be more assertive and be that ass, quote unquote asshole, man. Because uh, the grifters are out here, but you got something good, man. They hang on, they latch on, man. And they'll be like that the barnacles. When the barnacles drag you right down, you got to scrub them right on off, man. It's like a blister. Yeah, it is, man. A blister at the bottom of your foot, man. You try to win a race. You rush for that. Yeah, yeah. Slow yeah. so, I me mean, down. It's like a rock in your shoe, man. It gets you to win it. Yes. But the blister's on Yeah, yeah, yeah like, a, like an untied shoelace. So. That's my main thing. And what do you do with the contextualists? You gotta stop, stop tie, tie it, it and you lose the race. Yeah. yeah, man. So just that's the lesson I've learned in 2023, man. Just staying with the right circle of people to move you forward, to stay focused, to stay on your game plan, don't get knocked off your horse. But the main thing is again, keep that circle tight and keep it focused. Because the wrong people can be that fucking barnacle. Yes. You know, to pick it up on that, uh -huh. in life, one thing my grandfather taught me was that every five years, your circle, the outside circle, yeah. should change. Yeah. But your inner circle should be five or less. Solid. Yeah. And that should be for life. Yeah, solid. For life. Yep. Everything else is that? Yeah. Interchangeable. Yeah. Yes, because <coughs> the high incline, the outside circle, you might have 30 of them. Every five years, like 25. Right. So the five years, too. You know what? Because you become, you, you, uh, the, 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 the five years dropping off, they become haters. Yeah. A hater is somebody who wants to be you. Why are you the one doing this and not me? They don't know what, how many hours, <coughs> how much you've done to get to where you are. Right. You know? Right. <coughs> so to our fans out there, keep an inner circle of five or less Absolutely. for life. Yeah. Because they always say, what do they say all the time? Blood makes you my relative, but loyalty makes you my family. Amen. 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 Tonight, tonight our podcast will short this week. Oh yes, it's NFL. It's the first week of NFL. Oh yeah. And uh, the Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> my team. It's Dallas Cowboys to all the Cowboy haters. Uh, bring it up on, 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 on the comments. And brother Jamal here is a Ravens fan. Yeah. <coughs> so that's where we at right now. Yeah. Keep it uh, short and simple. That's right. Anything you want to say about mental health? Yes. Uh, as, like I always say, especially brothers, the black men out there. Because I, I think everybody else got it. The Asians, the white folks, um, women, they got it. But black folks, let's <coughs> take this seriously. When a, when, a, when a brother comes and approaches you with a situation, don't tell him man up. Right. What is man up? Or keep it real. No. Listen to a brother. It's okay to cry. It's okay to reach out. Okay, get that shit out of you. Get it out of you, man, because this whole world out there, nobody cares about the black man except us. So we reach out to each other. You reach one, you help one. That's what the mental health. Yeah, yeah. Can I say one more thing? Go ahead. So I want to say one thing about the access to capital as far as black folks to get. Yes. Uh, P. Diddy actually, he said something in Invest Fest that really struck home to me. That we get one to two percent of the capital that's allocated in this economy to our businesses and how important it is for that black capital to stay in 
community correct and we energize this because I mean we spend money with other folks which is all fine and dandy but we need to keep that focus sometimes yes and in my personal business you know that the power I see it you know the support that I get and from the community that allows me to continue even through tough times and I uh, just want to give a shout out to us keeping in the community making sure that we recognize the power of our capital yes that we have 1.2 trillion dollars in capital that we we spending spend yeah with them shit yeah and but we can we can put the bring it home we can bring it home so some flowers yeah flowers and bloom and stuff they bloom beautiful beautiful in the fall in the fall man Anyway, see, this is always a pleasure. <laughs>